There's a movement underway to save one of the best-known old movie theaters in Central Texas. The Howard Theater in Taylor has been closed since 2021, but now a local businesswoman has plans to reopen it if she can get enough donations. Here's more from KVU's Bob Buckaloo. There's a little shop on Main Street in Taylor, Texas. They sell homemade soap here. Oh, How are you? Good. It's a kind of a gathering place for the community. Folks from the town drop in to say hello to the shop owner. Her name is Channing Kingery Bowles. But this week, most of the soap in the shop was gone, sold out. That's because Channing held a big sale recently. She needed the money, not for herself, but to pay for her dream. I see the potential. I see all that it can be. And I care about the community I live in. Channing has her heart set on buying the neglected movie house across the street from her shop. She's using GoFundMe and accepting cash donations to raise the $200,000 that's needed for a down payment. I think it's important to save it, and I think it will be important. I think it can be a driving force to get people who haven't been to Taylor to come here. The Howard Theater has been around for decades, and for generations it was the hub of movie entertainment in Taylor. It closed permanently in 2021. But Channing believes there's still a place for the Howard in the heart of downtown. We need someone out there who, or, or many someones, who also want this to, to come to fruition, to go to our website, thehowardcinema.com, and, and give what they can. It's a long road to $200,000, though she's slowly getting there. Only a few more days remain to reach her goal. If she can't, the money will be returned to the donors, but the worst may happen to the Howard. I think the worst thing that would happen to the Howard is that some new developer would come in and decide to make it an office space. Channing admits that buying the Howard is a long shot, but with her energy and the help of the community, her dream just may come true. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.